What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player review. Today we're taking a look at the player of the week selection. We've got Salah, we've got Barella, we've got Kepa, we've got a couple of other beasts here as well. This is a bit of a weird selection, right? I mean, I know that you've got really high Barella and Salah and Valverde, I think, who are the three picks. Genuinely, I think they are the three picks. But because you've got no player levels, obviously, you are going to want these guys being the finished article. Do you know what I mean? Because you can train them up and they are going to be competing against other players that you can train up. So you could get a level like 72 player and train him up and maybe have better individual stats than Valverde on the right wing. Or, you know, even as Salah, we've saw videos um, and we've seen guys, you know, especially that I've put out with Hidden Gems. You know, you can have guys that are very low rated, but they have like maybe 50 trainer progression levels that they can go up and it just turns them into a completely different player. If you have the time and if you have the grind that you want to actually train them up and use all the trainer points. So we are going to start with Kepa, who is the goalkeeper of this pack here. Um, he's pretty, you know, a pretty average goalkeeper. We'll get into his stats just now. So again, he is on A rating. This is the best thing with all these guys, but his form being inconsistent, even though he is on the A rating. Yeah, he might be grand this week because he is on the A rating and he had a really good week last week. But yeah, I mean, you're not going to be having him in your team. 87 reflexes with a height of 186 and an 80 catching and 75 parrying. Yeah, it's just, it wouldn't be for me, lads. I mean, I'd like to try him out. Definitely would like to try him out, but you need a goalkeeper that's going to be super solid. And I definitely think like even this week when Donnarumma was on A form and I was playing and he was just absolutely saving point blank shots, you have got that upper echelon of goalkeepers. You know what I mean? You have, it's one position you can't really get away with. I definitely think you need reflexes above 90 and you need goalkeeper awareness as close to 90 as possible. And the form there is a killer for this card. Even though he doesn't have that many player skills, it would have been nice to give him, you know, maybe low punt or something. But again, I suppose they are trying to keep it realistic with the way how he actually kicks out the ball and stuff. So yeah, he's a bit of a miss for me. Um, this guy from Bayern Munich is a deep line forward. Again, he does have unwavering form, which is huge for this card. He also has super sub, which this guy could be a very good option off the bench. I mean, we all have Haaland. Anyone that's played the game long enough now will have Chiesa probably as well as a super sub. Um, I did a video on a Neymar clone a couple of days ago. Check that out if you guys haven't. I think it was yesterday I uploaded that. Tete from Olympic Lyon. Um, he's got a super sub as well. And having a super sub in your... Uh, bench is huge right so this guy could actually be a really good card if you do end up packing him 86 heading 80 finishing he's very tall very fast or very not not very fast but very physical like you can see there that he's more of a throwback kind of similar to Haaland without that burst of speed but his finishing is quite high his dribbling is good for a big man he's also got really good jump and kicking power so yeah I mean that super sub track back ability he's also got rising shot and first time shot and one touch pass so he kind of is the all-round deep line forward if you don't have somebody in that position already so yeah he's definitely a surprise package of this one if you do get him let me know because I would like to see him in action and I will be spinning at the end of this, uh, hopefully with the free one, um, if we've time. Next up, we've got William Carvalho. Now, yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a disappointing this uh, week, selection this week because we've already had a lot of these players and they're just kind of rinsing and repeating. So, you know, we've already covered these quite a lot. I mean, Carvalho is your typical box to box, but his speed and acceleration is a box to box. You're going to want to play him more so as an anchorman, but because he doesn't have anchorman, as his play style, he is going to get forward a little bit more. He will switch off a little bit more. So his physical contact is huge. His defensive awareness is extremely good as well. Tackling is good. But that acceleration of 62, lads, you would be better off buying somebody like Busquets or buying somebody like Tonali that's able to get up and down the pitch and have all the passing ability still. So yeah, he's a bit of a disappointing card as well. I would have liked to seen his speed maybe go up to like 74 and his acceleration 74 or 75, even though the speed and acceleration aren't massive massively important for dmfs i still think he is kind of slightly off the other um guys that are in his position tadich now a lot of people are talking about this guy a lot of people are talking about this guy saying that he's like the left-footed beckham uh you know if you haven't got the legend edition i think that there is a better version of beckham out there i did a video on hidden gems again on this guy called quintero he is absolutely insane he's dirt cheap he's really really good but this guy tadich lads is fantastic player if you have if you get him 
or if you did get him before, he is a fantastic player. He's got every player skill you could possibly want. I would potentially play this guy AMF because if you are using wingers, right, if you are playing a 4-3-3 or you're playing a modified version of wingers, 4-5-1 or whatever, I would definitely not have this guy as a winger because especially this card, you can't do anything with his acceleration. And even though, yeah, you still can, you know, make attacks and you can still get up and down the pitch easily, there's a huge difference between using somebody like this on your wing and using somebody like St. Maximin or using somebody like Dembele or Anthony who are like really, really fast. This guy is kind of more of a creative player as you see there. Um, attacking midfielder would be perfect or an SS would be perfect depending on your formation. He's got really good finishing ability as well. He's able to like curl the ball in. I've seen a good few clips of him online. I've come up against him a few times and he absolutely destroyed me, got two goals against me or three sometimes. So yeah, he is definitely one that I would watch. But again, AMF and the standard version of his card is equally as good as well, except you do have that unwavering form and the A rating this week, which is obviously going to make him the best card. One of the picks of it, lads, is a Borella. Now, Borella has featured before, as far as I know. He is a box-to-box, -box, and he has kind of got everything that you need as a box-to-box -box player, right? Unwavering form. He's also got sliding tackle, interception, fighting spirit, track back, one-touch pass. Like, he is the perfect box-to-box. -box. His tight possession, his dribbling, his ball control are excellent for a CMF. And then, obviously, you've got low pass, lofted pass, tackling aggression defensive engagement his defensive awareness i wouldn't worry too much about that stamina balance yeah i mean this guy looks like an elite card absolute elite card everything there there's no weaknesses in his game he's even got 79 offensive awareness so unless you have one of the top tier center midfielders that you're using like goretzka or pedri or somebody like modric or somebody like that i definitely think this guy would be an upgrade on whatever else you have so um he is the real deal i think there now we have one jesus who has been been playing a little bit of beast football for Napoli <clears throat> um all these players obviously have the team play style proficiency 90 so you can slot him into any squad this guy's got inconsistent form as well um but his other stats are quite decent so we won't spend too much time on him because of his balance uh is a big issue there as well his heading is quite decent but he is on the bit of the smaller side and that inconsistent form is probably going to kill him he doesn't also he also doesn't have blocker which i thought he should have because he's that type of player but yeah he's a bit of a disappointing card i would say uh terrier <coughs> excuse me terrier we've got as another left midfielder um this guy can play multiple positions on the left and he can play amf as well um he does have nice unwavering form he does have super sub so again everything that i just said before about the super subs when you're bringing them on it is always worth having a super sub on your bench you know if you have four or five guys that are a super sub like you're talking about Haaland, you're talking about kiesa you're talking about guys that can come on and actually make an impact off the bench if you're losing or if you just want to you know contain the lead or maintain your lead first time shot sub super sub long range shooting chip shot control i thought his curl would be a little bit higher i thought his curl would be higher maybe like in the mid 80s um but yeah absolutely like this guy is definitely one to watch as well i don't think he's like a top top player of the pack but yeah he's not bad at all if you do get him danilo so again this guy is very similar to what we saw with uh jesus there a minute ago except he's kind of a more solid player he's got unwavering form he's got blocker interception fighting spirit he doesn't have slide tackle or man marking but he does have kind of ball playing skills as well so yeah he's definitely one that i think people will be using this week especially on a form he's got really good stats he's got a nice um a nice balance to him as well as you can see there his stamina everything looks pretty decent not obviously going to be the best in the air with the heading and with the height but if you do get him i think he could do a job for you at the back kind of plays like kunde i would say so if you've played with kunde you'll know what you're getting there gabriel same can be said about gabriel pretty much rinse and repeat what i just said there he does have blocker and interception which are the two key stats for your center halves i mean having man marking and heading is also an extra and this guy would kind of be brilliantly paired up if you if you're struggling in the air i see a lot of people are now targeting like the likes of Haaland, ronaldo in the air from a kick out knocking it down i've conceded a few goals or a few chances where they're like knocking it down direct from Haaland or ronaldo or from Lewandowski or one of the tall players and you know my defenders such as alaba or rudiger it's just built in kind of to the game that you need to have those, you know, aerial stats. And if you don't have them, um, you're going to struggle. So he would definitely be one to watch. And especially with Arsenal at the moment, they're absolutely dominating in the Premier League. So last but not least, we have Valverde, who is fast becoming one of the best players in the game, kind of like a, 
a hidden gem mightn't have the big high profile name as some of the other guys such as Salah or Neymar or Mbappe or any of them guys but he does have excellent player skills excellent stats he can play center midfield or right wing so you can change a lot with his sub tactics you can put him center midfield and then you can switch your formation halfway during the match or you know you can switch and mix and match with every different kind of maybe every 10 minutes to kind of keep your opponent guessing you can switch him from a cmf to a right wing so you could start him off you could play a formation with a 4-3-3 where you could have him as a cmf and then you could put him up into you know a wing position and your opponent would probably be thinking what's going on here um so yeah check out my video on the sub tactics if you haven't but he's got long range shooting he's got one touch pass true pass weighted pass and then he's got defensively track back interception and fighting spirit and he's got 76 offensive awareness 75 offense or the other way around sorry lads 76 offensive 75 defensive speed and acceleration 89 for the acceleration and 91 for stamina is huge ball control is excellent his low pass is excellent and any weaknesses he has in his stats are complemented and upped by his actual player skills. So yeah, he's definitely the guy to get, I think, here. And then last but not least, we do have Momo himself, Mo Salah. 90 speed, 88 acceleration, excellent balance as well with the 93 balance. Dribbling is slightly low, 85, so he's not going to be in the upper tier of dribblers such as the likes of Neymar, Mbappe, any of those guys. Or not Mbappe, but uh, Dembele or any of those guys that have like 90 plus. But yeah, I mean, you are you know what you're getting with um, Salah absolutely insane player pains me to say that as a united fan but he is an insane player and he's coming into his 30s now as well so he is going to be into that stage in his career where we probably slow down and just probably more of a central figure for him but yeah every stat you could possibly want here i would definitely play him on the right wing though i don't think he'd be leading the line for me he's too small he doesn't offer anything in the air even the likes of romario like romario is just like more sturdy on the ball because of his weight and stuff than Salah I think his balance is excellent but his physical contact is a bit of an issue there even though it is 72 you can't train up this card any more than what it is so yeah excellent excellent speed offensive awareness for all the runs in if you are struggling a little tip right if you're struggling with players that aren't that fast look for their offensive awareness to be really high because the AI will make excellent runs for you that you won't have to get the ball at feet to run. Uh, I will be doing a video on that quite soon. But yeah, he is obviously the pick of him, I would say, him and Valverde. So that is it, lads. Check out eFootballDB as well for their standard versions of the car because some of them rank up really well. But there are a lot of GP alternatives out there. I will talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you spin or skip. Peace.